cyborg remember i talk in the ring my name's cyborg i'm the champion It's Cage Rage 15, it's absolute adrenaline, the world light heavyweight title. I'm Malcolm Martin, with me the fight professor Stephen Quadros, and we have Evangelista Cyborg, the challenger, Stephen. He is the challenger, he is a slugger, he comes from Curitiba, Brazil, he's 27 years old. Muay Thai is his style, but it looks like barroom brawling is his second style because he comes throwing haymakers. In some ways, his fighting style is almost like the mirror image of the champion, Melvin Manhoff. Melvin Manhoff. They've really taken to him here at Cage Rage. Two explosive starts for us, Rob. That's right. I actually recently saw Melvin's show reel of fights and my god the man is a monster literally all of his fights have gone the same way powerful fast adrenaline fueled KOs the guy is awesome Melvin is without a doubt one of my favorite fighters to date because of his animalistic integrity he's there to win and he goes in there and does the job fantastic fighter and a true great champion Stephen he's not very subtle about what he wants or what he does is he well, no, I mean, I'm not going to repeat his tagline because he lives with this blank, but one thing, uh, with a Muay Thai background of 30 wins, 3 losses, and 23 knockouts, and that's just Muay Thai, that's not mixed martial arts. Yes, the one they've been talking about on the net, Rob, everybody's been on about this, and Cage Rage has pulled it off. What a fantastic fight. Awesome fight. Both these guys, phenomenal strikers, as I said, great great strikers I just can't see this one going longer than the first round if I'm perfectly honest both these guys are hungry bangers look at the stare down guys two of the most dangerous men in the light heavyweight division would you like to be in the middle of there uh, let me think about that hmm, would I like to be in the middle of there let me think. it's a good question I mean that's one of your better questions and it starts Melvin Manoff Cyborg Santos, world light heavyweight title here at Cage Rage 15 Adrenaline Rush. Look at Melvin Man of letting the seconds tick by and no bombs being thrown. I'm surprised. I expected this one to explode into action. Melvin knows that Cyborg is dangerous. Uh, also, he can kick to the leg. I just think it's a matter of when. It's going to happen. It's just when they decide to really mix it. Look at Cyborg with the left roundhouse kicks. Two to the leg and one up top. It was blocked, but nonetheless, he's letting Melvin know he's there and he's there to take his title. Cyborg fighting really smart here. If there be a criticism of Cyborg, he came out and got a little too reckless, but they're going to start trading now. Here we go, folks. Cyborg needs to watch his chin. He leans back slightly. Yes, and he two needs left hooks there. Yeah, he needs to be careful there because Melvin will capitalize on that. That was an inside left low kick from hell by Melvin Manos. Luckily, Cyborg and blocked the right. There's that left hook by Manos. Manos got him up against the fence now. Cyborg has to watch that right hand. He keeps dropping it. Melvin will catch him with a left. Cyborg doing smart by getting the clinch here. Cyborg trying for a takedown there. Melvin chopping away with the punches over the top. Melvin coming in blasting. Some of those are missing. Melvin, big low kick by Manoff. Cyborg looking for the strike. Melvin moving in again with a left and a right combination. That misses good shot the to the body. Shot, a good head shot followed what? by a low leg kick. Whoa. The combinations, knee strikes. Look at that, him going to the body with a left hook and setting up a five or six punch and kick combination punctuated by a knee. You've got to love that. That was classic Dutch Muay Thai. And when, they, and when you talk about classic as well, Steve, it was the brilliant up and down, up and down. He didn't target one area. You know, what's impressing me at the moment, guys, is the composure of Cyborg. We've seen him explode and be overexcited and totally lose composure. This is a big, big fight for Cyborg, and he is very, very composed in there. I would have to say you were absolutely dead on there, Rob. This is the, this is the scientific Cyborg. Not only was he created by science, but now he is fighting scientifically, which is good. Melvin going to the body again, ducking under. The Melvin. combinations of strikes, both guys are not hitting. This, this is unreal. They're like two foot from one another and the shots are just swinging. Somebody's going down. 
Somebody's going down, and it looked oh, like Slavik landed. by Melvin Big Right. This is what the crowd wanted. It. They, they're getting it now. Cyborg's got to be careful with all those high kicks because he's going to get tired throwing those. Cyborg again with combinations. Sorry, Cy Cyborg on the ropes a little bit here on the fence. Melvin coming forward like Pac-Man, but Melvin's starting to breathe heavy too. They laid down a lot of leather here in the first round. The only difference between the two in, in terms of punching is the way Melvin puts the variety in. Yeah, he comes downstairs regularly as well. Yeah, but they're, they're both winded right now. Brilliant combinations by Melvin. He's thrown in the knees, the low kicks, the high kicks, the, the uppercuts, the body shots. Cyborg looking for the takedown. And he gets it. He picked the single, drove Melvin back. We're getting near the end of the round, though. It this, might not be a factor. This is what I was saying about a fighter like Melvin. When you know you've got a man that finishes fights early, and he, re he rarely goes beyond 30 seconds, 60 seconds, part of your strategy has to make him start to fight those distances and see what he's got left, what stamina he's got left, what else he's got there. The longer you can make a natural knockout artist who's used to being out there and back in the shower fight, the more opportunity you've got. Yeah, you know, you're right, Malcolm. Melvin has blown out so many guys early that he's going to get tested if this goes into the third round. So oh. we're looking for a leg lock. Has he got it on? He's going for a heel hook. He's, he's working for the heel hook. He's, you know, if time runs out, it's going to be a tragedy. Oh, saved by the... Well, you know, he didn't have it. Melvin was struggling there, but he wasn't in trouble yet because he didn't have the heel hook fully in. You know, I think we're going to see a different fight this time, guys. I've just got a, a feeling that both these guys are going to get very hungry in this round. As you said, the stamina's starting to dwindle away. They're both going to want to finish it soon because they're not going to want to be in there tired. Well, when another guy's swinging to take your head off, you've got to swing your punch and move your head to try and get out of the, his incoming punch. So that means a lot of times you miss your punch. And that's what they were doing. They were trying to bob and weave and throw punches at the same time. It's very difficult to do both. Very few fighters in the history of boxing. Right roundhouse kick to the body by Melvin. And Cyborg had an opportunity to grab the leg and take him down. But he missed it. One thing I noticed is that Cyborg's hands are starting to drop down. And Cyborg going for the Muay Thai clinch. Cyborg trying to get the clinch, trying to get him down. Because he thought maybe he saw a weakness in Melvin Manoff in the ground position. I agree with you, and as well, it was a reaction to a sharp knee from Melvin there as well. I didn't. I think he did the right thing. He didn't want to take any more of those. And I just get a sneaking feeling that the longer the fight goes on, the more that balance of power might sway in Cyborg's favor. This would be the biggest win of Cyborg's career because Melvin Manoff has been so dominant since he's come here to Cage Rays. He's so dominant in Holland. And a good right hand by Melvin. Melvin cracking away. Cyborg's got to be very careful here. So if Cyborg goes for the Muay Thai clutch, he's got a knee immediately. Can't sit there and wait to get punched. Melvin with some beautiful combinations. They're landing nicely as well, left and right. Cyborg is actually blocking some of those, though. Nice swaying as well. He's Bobby covering up well with his shoulder and with his right hand. Melvin took a big right there. A good right straight. Cyborg's trying to suck Melvin in at the moment. Just putting his chin out there. Cyborg seems to be breathing heavily, though. Cyborg's starting to wind up a little bit too wide with his punches, much the same way he did against Anthony Rhea. He needs to get his guard up with his hands that low. Melvin got him good with that right hand. Melvin got him again with the right hand. Melvin coming forward. Cyborg blasting him away with a jab. Somebody's going to go down here, folks. Cy Cyborg looks to be puffed out quite badly at the moment, Stephen. He's taking I've got to be honest, Rob. I Melvin. think he's playing a game here. I think Cyborg is trying to outsight Melvin at his own game. When he was dropping the hands, he just drove so the knee in as well. I think he's playing dangerously, but I really feel he's doing the right thing. He's I trying to Mel psychologically. I think Melvin's out of gas yes. here. I think Cyborg's got more in the tank than Melvin does. Because and right this is why I think he was goading him and talking him, put his hands on his hips. Melvin got hit by a oh, left hook. Some big shots by Cyborg. Melvin's in trouble there. Melvin is slipping punches and on the defense completely. Cyborg should Muay Thai clinch him now. Or Melvin's take him to the gone. Ground. Melvin's, Melvin's in trouble. Melvin is in big trouble here. But Cyborg is really running out of gas. Muay Thai knees. Melvin's going. I think he may be out on his feet, possibly. He's out on his feet Melvin's here, Melvin. On his... Melvin's on the verge of going down here. Cyborg needs one good knee or one good punch. Melvin's got nothing left in the tanks, guys. Oh, Melvin's what an uppercut as well. Melvin's sucking it up. 
Cyborg almost out of gas. Cyborg kicks him, but there's not much on it. They're out of gas in the middle of the ring. I can't believe wow. it. This is unbelievable. Both guys, nothing Woo! there. Look at wow. this. Wow. The crowd Look at this crowd. The crowd is on its feet. This there. is a world light heavyweight title fight, guys. Look at wow. them, though. This is unbelievable. Haymakers are plenty. Oh, big kick. This misses. Cyborg smiles at that. Wow, guys. Both of them. Nothing left in the tanks. This is exactly. They're running on empty. They're running on fumes. Melvin with a big left. And a right. And a left. left. And a right. Oh. He sinks Cyborg. Cyborg on his back. Unbelievable. The ref called it. Unbelievable. Melvin Merov has pulled it out. Cyborg doesn't Cyborg realize it's over. Nothing, look. He doesn't realize it's over. He was trying to hit the chest of Melvin Manoff. He didn't realize Melvin it doesn't over. realize he's over. Melvin's being held up by his team. Both guys are out on their feet. It's what? like a scene from a Rocky movie, guys. I was going to say, Rob, you only ever seen that before in the Rocky films. And Cyborg didn't know he'd lost. He was still trying to hit the chest of Melvin when the fight had been And pulled. you see there was no power in those shots. Wow. I have never seen this kind of fight. And this is my one-year anniversary, guys, here at Cage Race. Look behind Thank you. Happy anniversary. Look wow. at this crowd. Everybody on their feet. That was the most unbelievable finish. That was a straight out of a Rocky movie. Cyborg still standing there, almost taunting him. Getting ready to throw his own big right hand there by Melvin. Melvin coming in. Oh, that was big shot left the, hook. That was the one. Big left hook. That was the one. That put no Cyborg way. to sleep. And no way Melvin that Cyborg could have stayed up after that fight. Melvin just seemed to go straight down with him. Look, he's hitting his chest. He looks. Both guys just look so weak at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, the trophies and the belt will be presented by Stephen Banford, chairman of Sports Betting One on One. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. After three minutes, 51 seconds of round two, by way of knockout, and still the cage rage like heavyweight champion of the world.